Hi, this is Dawn Thomas, and I'm the owner of Silicon Valley and Beyond.com and MoveToTheBeach.com. Here's step two of the home buying process. The home buying process, step two. Shopping for your home, disclosures, and making an offer. The next phase of your home buying journey involves defining what the ideal home means for you and your family. I suggest compiling a list of needs and wants. From this list, my team and I will locate properties that fit your lifestyle, budget, and desires. We'll set up key searches on the multiple listing service, which will notify you in real time about properties that are on the market or just listed. We also have a great search tool called Real Scout, which will allow us to search for things such as how far a home is from a Pete's Coffee, a park, or schools. Once you've identified homes through the multiple listing service or Real Scout that you'd like to see, let us know and we'll schedule private showings. Weekdays are the best as homeowners will usually be at work and potential buyer traffic is considerably less. On weekends, attend open houses. For each home you're interested in, thoroughly read the seller disclosures and inspection reports. It's there where you will learn most about the property you are considering. For condominiums and townhomes, you should also take the time to read the homeowners association documents provided. After touring homes, attending open houses, you found the ideal home and are ready to make an offer. Depending on the home, there could be a set offer date or the seller's agent may be accepting offers as they come. Either way, it's imperative that we move quickly and that I have the pertinent information needed to create the offer on your behalf. One of the things to consider is whether or not you'd like a home warranty. It's not the same as homeowner's insurance, which is a must-have. Homeowner's warranties cover repairs on appliance and home systems like plumbing and electrical, basically the major components. This would be a good time to decide if you'd like to ask the seller to pay for the warranty so it can be included with the offer. Immediately after an offer is submitted, we recommend scheduling a home inspection. Depending on the market, your offer may be contingent, usually only in a buyer's market, or non-contingent in a seller's market. Most inspectors' schedules fill up quickly, so it's better to have an appointment and cancel versus scrambling to find an available inspector before a potential property contingency deadline. If your offer is non-contingent, you still have the ability to inspect the property. It's just your 3% earnest money deposit would be at risk if you back out of the contract after acceptance should something new be found in those inspections. As always, you'll find all of this information and much more in great detail on our website at siliconvalleyandbeyond.com under the buy tab. Thank you. Let's move to the next step.